Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FC24 tutorial on my channel. Just like that, Ovi puts it in. One, two, three, he makes it quick and easy. Fantastic goal, really it was. Messi slides through, oh he's got a man for a goal here. It's a stunning goal from Ovi. Pre-order EA FC 24 coins and vouchers on the best place on the market, fifacoin.com, link is in the description. Today we are going to talk about three new features that we have in FC 24, all are related with dribbling. Let's start with numero uno, we've got effort dribble touch, which is a new mechanic that allows you to quickly knock the ball in any direction and set up your next move. Uh, this is a fantastic tool for moving the ball out of the path of your opponent's feet or uh, to take a center back or a full back by surprise with the controlled first touch when used as your first touch of the ball. In order to perform this new dribbling technique, you will have to press R1 or RB plus right stick in the direction you want to perform the touch. Very important here because uh, the more you hold the right stick, the more the ball will travel away from the feet of your player. There are two ways to use this uh, technique. You've got the controlled first touch versus a defender. Exactly as you saw in the previous example, uh, this weapon is best used when you are playing a pass towards your player and there is space on the left or right of your defender. You will be able to do a first touch away from the defender and get in the empty space. Once you're there, if you have a pacey player, there is no catching you and the opponent is in big, 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 big trouble. The second variation of the effort dribble touch is when your player is already in possession of the ball. Very important here, the first one was when your player wasn't in possession of the ball and he was doing a first touch. Now the second one when your player is already in possession of the ball and you want to do a knock on the ball and get past the defender. You will have to wait until the very last moment and press R1 plus move the right stick at a minimum angle of 45 degrees to make the most out of this move. If the timing is perfect, then the result is top match, you get past the defender and you are in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalkeeper. Next on our list, we've got the Orbit Dribble. This allows you to move around the ball without taking a touch. Use this to adjust your body position and set yourself on your stronger foot for the best shot or pass opportunity. Or at least that's what uh, EA says in the pitch notes. I'm gonna tell you it's not that effective in my opinion from what I've tested if you use it for that. It has other advantages, we're gonna talk about uh, them. Uh, also this trick can be used to draw in your opponent and combine it with effort dribble to outmaneuver your opponent. Uh, in order to perform an orbit dribble you will have to hold L2 plus L1 plus the left stick or hold LT plus LB plus the left stick to start moving around the ball. Also remember that this can be turned on or off in the settings menu. As I was saying, the only really effective way that I found when using this uh, uh, dribbling move was combined with the effort dribble. You lure in the defender, you trick him with the orbit dribble and as seen in this example, at the right time, you trigger the effort dribble knock-on and get rid of the defender. If you have a basic player, it is game over for the opponent. Last but not least, we've got the controlled sprint, which introduces a new dribbling speed that is faster than a jog but slower than fully sprinting. Uh, controlled sprint has more controlled touches, keeping the ball closer your player and to perform this new dribbling technique all you have to do is hold R1 uh, or hold RB and move using the left stick. Also remember that your player's dribble and sprint speed attributes will affect your speed and control of the ball. This particular new move is extremely interesting because it resembles a lot with the way that wingers at times cut inside. 
They move fast towards the defender, but with small and accurate touches. Uh, so far, it has been very, very effective offline, but it remains to be seen how good it will be in online matches. So, fellas, there you have it. The orbit dribble, the control sprint, and also the effort dribble uh, touch. All of these tricks have the potential to be extremely effective throughout the season. It remains to be seen which will develop to be best new dribbling uh, technique. Uh, also, when we're gonna get better players with better dribbling uh, attributes in Ultimate Team, these will, will start to be even, even, even more overpowered. Drop a comment below, let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, also, drop a like if you are enjoying the tutorial series uh, on the channel. Let's try and get over 1000. Your support has been superb so far. Let's continue like that and I will be seeing you in the upcoming videos. Have an awesome day, everyone. Bye-bye.